are some amazing ships in Starfield you can get for free, so we'll round them all up for you in this video. Because you will want to upgrade from your starting ship the Frontier as soon as possible to improve your ship weapons, cargo space, jump capability, anything really. And any ship you come across can of course be yours if you board and steal it. To do this, you'll want to invest at least one point in the targeting control system skill so you can manually disable an enemy's engines to board the ship. After taking out the crew, you can fly the ship yourself. Do keep in mind though that some bigger ships might be class B or C, which means a certain rank of the piloting skill is required in order to fly them. Quick tip for that by the way, if you need to level the challenge, if you join the UC Vanguard, you'll have to do a simulator test. This test is repeatable and kills in it also count for progress, so you can use that to get the required kills. And you can of course also lower the game's difficulty to make it go even quicker. But it's not just space where you can board ships, you can do that when they land too. You can sometimes see ships land randomly when exploring a planet's surface, but there are some enemy outposts that will have a ship show up, guaranteed if you take out the first wave of enemies. Now you can't pilot all of these, like the one that shows up at the Mars Mech Factory can't be stolen, but there is another location that spawns a ship you can steal. If you head to Jaffa 4 in the Jaffa system, you'll see a location called Vulture's Roost. Credits to Lunar Gaming for this find by the way, we'll link to his channel in the video description. There are quite a lot of Eclipse mercenaries at this location, so make sure you pack enough ammo and make your way through the camp until you reach a giant central landing platform. You'll hear the ship flying in, so get ready to take out the enemies in the landing bay and then head inside to steal it. Now one important side note about the dagger is that in my case there was illegal contraband on board. So before you head to any UC or free star systems, go to the den in the wolf system and sell it at the trade authority so you won't get arrested. There is also a faction mission that grants you the opportunity to board and steal a unique ship called the Datura. If you want to grab this one, play through the Ryujin Industries questline, which you can start from one of these red terminals like the one in New Atlantis until you reach the quest Top Secrets. Here you'll be sent to Sidonia on Mars to talk to Simon who has a side job available that you'll want to take. It has you go hunting down a bounty hunter and bringing back her pistol as proof so either talk your way on board or board the ship in combat, take out the pilot and then the Datura is yours to keep. And since you then need to head back to Simon anyway for the quest, you can immediately register the ship at the Sidonia spaceport. Because that is of course the case with stolen ships. If you want to access features like modding, renaming or even selling your ship, you need to register it first at any ship mechanic. While it does cost you credits, it is still cheaper than building a similar ship from scratch. But there are enough ships you can earn that you don't need to register, so let's go over those. If you've enjoyed the video so far, leaving a like on it would of course be awesome, and subscribe as we got more Starfield videos coming your way. Now if you decided to go with the kit stuff trade during character creation, you're in luck, as that means you will eventually get a free ship. I couldn't find the exact trigger, but repeated visits to your parents should eventually make your dad mention he's got a ship for you and you'll receive the Wonderwell. It's a pretty average ship in most aspects, so you're not missing out on much if you didn't pick the trade, but for a free ship, it's definitely not bad. And you probably already know about the secret Mantis quest. When fighting spacer enemies, which already happens early during the Old Neighborhood main mission, but also many times later on in the game, you will want to look out for this secret outpost note. Read it and then follow the quest that triggers to eventually get this amazing Razor Leaf ship. It's a great all-rounder that is better than your first ship in almost every way. So great to grab the Razor Leaf early and the same can be said about the Star Eagle which was my main ship for most of my first playthrough. It takes a bit more work than the Razor Leaf to unlock as it's a reward for the final quest in the Free Star Rangers questline which starts with the Job Gone Wrong quest you get as soon as you first enter Aquila. By solving the hostage situation at the bank you'll be invited to join the Rangers and if you complete the rest of the quest line as well, you gain a ton of rewards including the amazing Star Eagle. Big bonus for this ship is the large cargo capacity and the fact that it comes with multiple parts that would otherwise require a high level in the Starship design skill. So if you got it early like me, it will be way better than anything you can build yourself but even later in the game the Star Eagle is a very decent ship. And since it's a class A ship, you don't need a high piloting skill to fly it. If you instead ended up on the wrong side of the law, you might have already encountered the faction quest for the Crimson Fleet. In case you didn't, you can join that one by either committing a crime in UC territory and being taken into custody, or by joining the UC Vanguard at the mast in New Atlantis and completing the first mission grunt work. Then continue with the quest Deep Cover and Rock Meets King to eventually reach Echoes of the Past. You're sent to investigate an old 
UC prison and by the time the quest is over you'll have escaped on an old UC prison transport which is then yours to keep. And while it does have decent cargo capacity you'll definitely need to invest some credits for extra parts if you want to make this your main ship. It has no weapons, no shields and only one spot for a crew member so there is definitely some room for improvement. And while you also need to pay for registration first it is a nice base template to start modding as you can hardly make things worse. And good thing to know about that is that every vendor actually has different parts to sell you. The ship mechanic in New Atlantis has a different stock from the one in Aquila and the one in Neon so if you're looking to upgrade it's worth visiting different starports in different main cities. We'll leave a list with all the different ship vendors in the game in the video description. If you would rather get a ship that does it all without the need for modding then you'll want to make sure that you grab the missable Kepler R. This ship is one of the two possible rewards for the mission over design which becomes available after the main story mission high price to pay. Talk to Walter in the lodge and ask him about more work and he'll send you to the Stroud Eklund shipyards to help his team design a new spaceship. Now like I said there are two possible rewards for this quest and if you want the Kepler R you will need to do the following things. First you need to persuade the team to go for the kitchen sink approach when it comes to funding. Then you need to listen to the team's proposals and give all of them positive feedback so one of the top two dialogue options. Complete one transport and one destroy mission from the nearby bounty board and then return to Jules and tell the team to make some compromises on the final design. If you follow those instructions you will end up with the massive Kepler R which has tons of cargo capacity, jump range and fuel and it also comes with some pretty powerful laser and ballistic weapons by default. The only downside is that it is a class C ship so for this one you will need to raise your piloting skill to the max level in order to be able to fly it. And as you might expect by looking at it, it is also not the fastest ship around. Back to the overdesigned quest because if you did something different you will have received the Kepler S instead. This is a B class ship so it still requires at least the third level of the piloting skill and similar to the UC prison shuttle it's more of a template that you can mold to your own preference. It does have much much better baseline stats than the shuttle though with high cargo capacity, jump distance and a shield right out of the gate. There are no weapons on the Kepler S though which is a bit weird as the mission gives you the idea that you can steer the design towards a particular type of ship. But even after picking every option that should build a fighting ship, I still got the same baseline Kepler S with no weapons. So if you want to use this ship in a fight, you'll have to invest some credits and install the weapons yourself. And finally, if you decide to start a new game plus playthrough, you will also receive a very special unique ship, but I don't want to spoil that one here. So if you are curious, you can watch our video on new game plus by clicking on the screen. Subscribe to not miss out on future Starfield content and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one, goodbye.